Hi, it's Kerry. This video is suitable for viewers age 13 plus. Jaguar. They are listed as near threatened. They are impacted by the depletion of wild prey, human wildlife conflict, and habitat loss. As small populations become isolated by the fragmentation of habitat, Jaguars become more vulnerable to changes in their habitat, environmental changes and of course in breeding. Critical elements in conservation decisions would include things like the demographic history, movement patterns, behaviour and genetic diversity of a species. To ensure population sustainability, the remaining fragmented patches of jaguar habitat need to be connected by a system of corridors that ensure demographic and genetic exchange and will fix the issue of inbreeding. Zebras live in small family groups consisting of a stallion and several mares with their foals. The females that form the harem are unrelated. Source It is a result of crossbreeding a male zebra stallion with a female horse, the mare, to produce an animal that looks more like a horse than a zebra but one that has stripes. Quagga was a subspecies of the plain zebra. There is a project using selective breeding to try and bring the quagga back. Captivity, lions often breed every year, but in the wild they usually breed no more than once in two years. This is so the mother can look after the cubs. Females are receptive to mating for three or four days within a widely variable reproductive cycle. During this time, a pair generally mates every 20 to 30 minutes with up to 50 copulations per 24 hours. Such extended copulation not only stimulates ovulation in the female but also secures paternity for the male by excluding other males. The extinct Thylacolia carnifex or marsupial lion. It was most likely an ambush predator or scavenger and had enormous slicing cheek teeth that worked like blades and large stabbing incisor teeth and a huge thumb claw encased in a sheath that may have been used to disembowel its prey. The red fox. Foxes are highly adaptable, opportunistic omnivores eating meat insects and plant materials. They hunt and scavenge, mostly eating meat and taking a wide variety of vertebrate or invertebrate prey, plant material and even human refuse. Foxes exhibit both monogamy and polygamy. Polygamy is when the male mates with several females. This happens when males go roaming in search of receptive females. Sometimes males mate with more than one female in the same range and monopolizing the ranges of two vixens. They are a keystone species that reduces biodiversity and impacts on the survival of native prey over large areas of entire ecosystems. Tap the bell icon to be notified when my next video uploads. Thank you for all your support and I really love reading your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.